The Sundays on WPRK, Winter Park, Florida, a certain someone. I don't know if that's how they meant for it to be pronounced. Good morning. My name is Nick. You're listening to A Certain Degree. And I'm here with a very special guest, as I am every week, seven to nine. I, I'm a pretty lucky guy. I'll be <laughs> honest with you, Bree. I is it get, because you're talking to me? Or? Well, yeah. I mean, oh, okay. I get to talk to really cool people every week. Mm-hmm. You included. Uh, I'm at the top of the list currently. Uh-huh. Yeah. You are the most recent person I've spoken to. Yes. So at the top of the list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clearly. Yeah. And so people come in, they want to share what they're doing. They want to teach me a little bit about what they're doing. Because frankly, this is a great way for me to meet people and network. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm what I would describe as a recovering introvert. Mm-hmm. And so going out to events and talking and like meeting people, that's the most exhausting thing I can think of. And it takes a long time for me to recover. But for this, I enjoy it because I really get to know somebody. I get to do some research on some things, whether it's through the bad business ideas or the quiz or getting to know, you know, one of the things you're passionate about, which is I I already kind of knew about uh, being vegan. Mm -hmm. I kind of know about yoga Mm -hmm. uh, and I know I'm not going to do it. You should. I should. Not very flexible and super embarrassed about doing it. That's why you should do it. Uh-huh. But what I don't know a lot about is tarot reading, tarot card reading. Mm-hmm. And so that's something that you've been doing for a while. Yes. And we're going to do one right now. Yep. But uh, just reading about it was very interesting in terms of, you know, trying to figure out which uh, suit mm-hmm. that I line up with. So I'm a cups because I'm cancer. Mm-hmm. So like w- the water the energy. Water, yep. Yeah. So got a lot of water mm-hmm. energy. I retain Quite a bit of water. I mean, I, I retain water saying. as well. Yeah. I mean, I feel like every human being does, but... Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, I thought I was special. You can still be special. Okay. So how did you get into tarot card reading in the first place? Um, so my family, they're from Cuba, mm-hmm. so they practice Santeria. Um, and my grandmother uh, taught me with poker cards. And then... Just like a regular deck of like cards? A reg- like a regular yeah. deck of cards. Okay. Um, and then the older I got... I just started doing it more and more. Um, I always kind of grew up in like this like magical household. And um, I thought it was just kind of like normal and quirky type of situation. Apparently not a lot of people do this. Like they didn't grow up the same way I grew up. Um, But I really like tarot cards because they're visual. Mm -hmm. The older I got, the more intuitive I became with the cards. I can pick up any deck. I don't need a guidebook. I don't need anything. I can just read it. A lot of that has to do with like trusting what I see and what I feel when I meet someone, not just like, oh, the book says yada, yada, yada. So the tarot cards themselves, the artwork on them Mm -hmm. could be different from deck to deck. Usually is different. They are. And they're themed. Some, so if you really like steampunk, there's a steampunk tarot. Um, if you like animals, there's like animal tarot and then you have Oracle decks as well. But the visuals that you see are also, it's not just that it's the uh, two of cups. It's the two of cups with this particular visual Visual. element to it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't realize that. I would have thought that it's always the two of cups. Nope. Okay. It's really cool. Yeah. Um, There's a little bit more leeway with the major arcana, which is the 22 cards that depict like the major players of the tarot. Mm -hmm. Usually that's where a lot of the fun imagery comes from. And then the oracle decks those variant numbers, visuals, and things like that. And I always like to use them together to kind of paint a better picture for that person. You're doing this professionally, for lack of a better term? Yes, I'm a professional witch. That's exciting. Okay, that is exciting. So you do this for people at uh, live at breweries, Mm -hmm. um, Hourglass Brewery, which is a fantastic place. Love you guys. Wonderful beer. Everything else about it is fantastic. And they also support art. They also support music. They also support a number of other things, including yourself. Mm -hmm. So you do it there. But then you're also branching out and doing it via Etsy. So doing it online as well. Absolutely. So that's something new for you too. Have you done a lot of that where it's sort of remote? I've done it very like impromptu where my friends are like, can you do a reading for me real quick? I'm like, sure. But instead of me just trying to take a picture and like send you the, like what I'm writing because text messaging my thumbs will get tired. Yeah. I was like, let me just put it in like a Word document. I'll send you the, I'll attach the picture and then you can just sit there and read it. And not only, well, you can print it out and just read it as many times as you want until it like kind of resonates with you. And 
that's what people do. They're like, yeah, I read it. I print it out. And then like when they feel like it's time for a new one, they get a new reading. Hmm. So I've always, I was always doing it. Now I just put it on Etsy. So there's more of a range. And also on Instagram, I used to do like free readings where I would do like a one card draw. Like, tell me you need a card. Boom. Here's a card. Take a picture. Send it to you. So I do that sometimes too. And that's like my karma for, you know, like I need good karma points. Uh, we all do. I sometimes. mean, I really need to stock up. So, cause I get into shenanigans and I need so the, the good karma. karma bank. You need to make some deposits. A lot. Great. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> well, this will count towards that. Yay. I'm sure. <laughs> I hope. As I roll my eyes on the radio, uh, <laughs> which always comes across very well. Let me ask you about this because the other thing I was reading about is people who, as a sort of self-therapeutic and almost writing exercise is what some people do, will have their own tarot deck. Mm -hmm. And they'll just pick a card, they'll look at it visually uh, and maybe know a little bit about what that card has in terms of its meaning mm -hmm. and do a writing, like a free writing exercise yeah. on just what they're feeling about that. And I, that kind of spoke to me as someone who writes a little bit too, that kind of spoke to me as, oh, that, that seems kind of like I wouldn't have thought of that. Mm -hmm. So there are, are there a lot of, you know, you think of the traditional tarot card reading as the uh, maybe three cards across and then one up and one down and that mm -hmm. sort of thing. Are there a lot of other uses that you've noticed about tarot cards and how they're used over the years? Absolutely. Um, one thing I like to do is I like to use yoga and tarot together. Um, like, this is like the energy that I'm feeling for this practice and it's something I need to focus on. I do that. Um, even my kids draw cards. Like when I'm like, hey, you're having a bad day? Like draw a card. Like let's see what's kind of going on. And it kind of empowers them to take control of a situation. Be like, oh, I guess I am a little this, this, and this. I'm like, mm -hmm. okay. And then let's talk about it. Um, they're good starting points like for conversation. Um, they're good meditative exercises. It really is just a tool. It's a spiritual tool to help you to where you need to be. That's it. It's on. I don't use it as a predictive method. And how do you feel? So I think that was the thing about it is, you know, I want to know my future or something mm -hmm. like that. That's not really where it, people could use it for that. I mean, they can. And that's phenomenal if they did. Um, that's not where you're coming from. That's not where I'm coming from. I'm really using it as like, hey, this is the energy around you. Um, these are kind of like the situations that you're going through. How can you alleviate some of those obstacles to get to where you need to go? Mm. Okay. 